What's up guys? Today we're gonna do some live arena again and hopefully I will go 15 zero today with zero losses but let me show you a Christmas miracle that I got half a year too late but um, so ever since White King Narcissus was released which is already several months ago at this point I have been trying to fine tune his gear and I had good gear, I just needed to gloop it and to chaos dust it. And I have been stuck on this goddamn banner for so many months in a row. And take into account, I mean, upgrading or attempting to upgrade the banner, I think is it past 5 tries or whatever, it costs 6 ascension material per attempt. And as you can see, we are at like 19. This took so so goddamn long time. And it wasn't just this piece, it was other pieces. Um, I think the boots was like 10 tries or whatever, yeah. Boots is 11 and I had a bunch of other pieces of gear that I was stuck in. But this banner, I was stuck on it for several months in a row. And then I finally got it yesterday. And after that, of course, I did like multiple other accessories on like the second or first attempt and I pretty much got everything important out of the way and now I need to farm Sand Devil and I'm pretty much done with the Phantom Shogun for now so I don't know if that 1.8k HP is gonna make a massive difference but I had to get it at some point so I'm glad that the grind is finally over but I mean Little bit of stats is not exactly what I need right now. I would really love to get a Crixia pool or something like that, but it kind of depends what champions we meet because if they don't have those meta champions, I can be very strong and then then if they do I get desperate, but some people I completely stomp and other people I heavily struggle against. Okay, he's opening with UDK first pick, I mean Wukong first pick without UDK. As I mentioned before, and maybe this is a little bit different on other tiers, but basically nobody is running support Wukong anymore. All of them are in a nuke build, so I'm just gonna assume that it's definitely a nuker and instantly lock in the UDK. I think I actually got some accessories on UDK upgraded after Narses because it was a little bit lower priority and I didn't get to it until I was done but I got I think I got both ring and banner on UDK but anyway so we're just gonna go with the UDK against Wukong and for sure it's gonna be a nuker and he might not be able to ban the UDK because we also got the other ones but who do I want to pick as my last champion? Hmm. Or I mean, not as my last champion, but I mean as my like um, my other nuke. I think we're just gonna go with Necret and Xena. I've been complaining about this a little bit, or not directly, but kind of indirectly when I have been talking about the meta in the past few videos. And well, like not not specifically past few videos, but let's say in the recent times, it's not the main topic, but I often kind of talk about it a little bit that Necret isn't in very good spot right now because of multiple reasons but let's say that some of the most popular nukers in live arena and classic arena like White King Narses, Lazarius or um, even Georgid, Necret really doesn't do anything against any of them so he's actually kind of bad pick right now wait do we have to go for the... I think I have to play it safe and go for the Mitral ban since I don't have any like uh, any cleanse or immunity. I mean I have the immunity from Necret but that's it. But Necret isn't in a great spot right now even though he was ultra meta for a long time and to be honest Necret kind of had his time so can't get too like it makes sense even though it's kind of regrettable because it's the only 
good or ex-good world champion that I, I have pulled. And of course, I pulled like three of him. But against the team that he's picking right now, Necrot is totally, totally viable, so maybe we can do this. The only issue is that I don't have any reviver, and it's not going to be easy to... Um, oh, oops. It's going to take multiple attempts to... <laughs> Just opening up a Pepsi. It's gonna take multiple nukes to actually kill his... Oh, he even got the stone skin. God damn it. It's gonna take multiple nukes to kill his team with Xena. And... E even though the Necrot is definitely pro gonna protect her, but she's eventually gonna die to the Harima. And I don't have Reviver, I don't have Cleanse, so... If I don't get any turns on the Narsus... I don't think I can make it, but... Uh, I think, uh, okay, let's see. I think we can do this. He's, his Harima took a lot of damage. Sometimes they have pretty high HP, but this one doesn't. And I, I'm surprised that it almost died on the first nuke, so maybe we're good. The good thing with Xena, and the, well, we don't have attack buff, so I, I don't, she might not die to this, but the good thing, ah, I knew it, it was so close. The good thing with Xena, and the issue is that she often doesn't have enough damage to do it, like just now. But if you do get two kills, which we didn't because the Harima barely survived. But if we do get two or more kills with the A3, it's gonna reset the cooldown. And sometimes you can snowball with that and not give them any chance. But we actually, we didn't get the reset. And uh, I don't think we have any AoEs left. If, if we can get a turn on... Oh, oh. I had the block buffs debuff, I forgot about that. If we would have gotten a turn with Narsus, then we're good, but um, even if we, we kill the Wukong now, I hope he dies, but I don't think Mikage is gonna let my Nar- Oh, okay, he died. <laughs> he didn't die. I don't think the Mikage is gonna let my Narsus have a turn either way, but okay, I think Wukong is just gonna kill it. I think we're gonna start out with a loss, sadly. Yeah. Kind of close. If the if the Harima would have died to the AoE nook, we would have gotten it, but it sadly didn't. Yeah, I'm not gonna get any turns at this point anymore. The issue is that right now in my team, for instance, I basically don't have anybody in Polymorph. I have UDK in Polymorph, but it's not 6-star, and as you can see, I got destroyed by all of the debuffs that he has, and... Everybody is running out of debuffs right now in the meta, so... But we could have totally lo won that fight. It wasn't the hardest one, but um, it was super close. He picked the Duchess, the, the only two champions that I have... Actually, I put my Rotos in... Um, in Polymorph just now. I forgot to mention it at the start of the video. Maybe I should have braved and went with Rotos against the Harima instead of Xena. Even though Rotos kind of does have worse matchup against her, but Rotos is so strong that I, I probably, <laughs> probably should have done that regardless, and only pick Senna against those squeezy, squeezy um, CV teams without Harima. Yeah, next time I'll go with Rotos, but I kind of needed some polymorph there. The three champions that are kind of. I have a working polymorph on my account. He's Duchess and now Rotos because I literally just swapped him to polymorph and that's the only two champions that I have at 6 star. But we also got of course uh, Armans who doesn't have 6 star polymorph but has accuracy so he kind of works too. And I, I guess Mikake but my Mikake doesn't have insanely good gear right now. She's neither fast or tanky so... Okay, again, again, Harim, I think, yeah, we're probably just gonna bray with the Rodos this time. The thing is that I hate fighting against Harima, as you know. It totally cocks Rodos and Wukong and other ignore defense champions, but Rodos is very strong and <laughs> he's the best I got after Narsus, so I, I guess I just have to go with it. Uh, I think we probably got better team this time anyway, since we got the 
got the Ankora. I have been preferring Ankora a lot over Datsas lately. I think even without Narses, at least for me personally, Ankora is more often better than Datsas out of my picks because there's so much CC going on and Ankora has the plain skill and the passive that cleanses your main nuker. Um, hmm. I don't think... I mean, he's gonna ban Armans, not gonna ban Ankor. I think we're actually gonna go for the Arima ban here and brave the lockout. He does have the turn meter reduction from Mikake and, and possible stuns and the turn meter boost from Sifi, so it might be, be hard to get our cooldowns back, but... I think I can do it. Certainly if we get any extra turns on Rotos, but maybe even despite or despite getting it. But yeah, starting out with the loss, not not good. But maybe I learn from it and next time I'll just pick Rotos against Harima like I did now. He doesn't have the most tankiest Tiffy, so I can, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna kill it with A3, even if I don't get Helm Smasher or proc. So if I just get like any chance, I, I can definitely kill that one. Okay, nice, we got the cooldowns reduced by Ankara. Hopefully it's on the Narsus A2 and not A3, but either one is good to be honest. If we get to do A3 right now, we could Block revive the Wukong or Sifi. Actually, the A3. Oh, okay. A3 would almost be better if he would have gotten a turn there. Damn, he's too fast. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I was wrong thinking that I could. I could get a turn despite the Mikage. <laughs> Mikage turn meter reduction and and uh, Yumeko turn meter reduction and the Sifi boost. God damn. Yeah. Okay, what, what should I have in? Should I just actually went with the Harima ban? Uh, no, not Harima ban, but Yumeko ban instead of Harima. I don't know about that. I feel like this was the right choice, but there's just way too much CC. The Wukong hit pretty hard, but my my team was tanky. I just, I didn't even get a chance to hit him. I was doing pretty well yesterday, but I kind of had these massive win streaks and loss streaks, and right now we have a three battle win a loss streak, I guess. Yeah, I feel like on the first battle I should have gone with Trotos. And on the second battle, maybe I should have just banned the Yumeko. There's just... He had so much CC and turn meter manipulation that... Maybe it would have been better to brave the Harima passive, I guess. I mean, of course, if I just would have gotten Polymorph proc, I would have... A, I would have instantly won the fight, so I, th I think it was... Closer than it might have um, might have seemed. Now thinking retroactively, if I just got one turn there, I would have won. So, but hopefully, hopefully the next next primal pool session is gonna gonna give me a break. <laughs> By the way, as you can see from my history, I have been using Necret a lot lately. I kind of wasn't using him at all for a while. 
I still feel like Necrot isn't that good pick at all right now in the meta, but it wasn't a bad pick against the last team. The Isu was just... It was too much CC and I didn't have it. some way to deal with it at all. But I'm not a big fan of Necrot right now. I generally prefer UDK, but it kind of depends what they run, of course. Or actually, I prefer Heligat, but Heligat just isn't, isn't in right now. What? Does this guy not have Armands or did he pick the wrong champion? I mean, like I said, Ankara is totally good even without Narses, but it's not something that you would first pick. I mean, you might first pick Sifi. I Maybe not even right now in the current meta. Maybe in some speed comps, but you could first pick Sifi, but I wouldn't first pick Ankara. Wait, what was this the same guy that I just lost? Okay, I guess we're just gonna go go with this and ban the Yumeko instead of the Harima. Maybe I'll go with Duchess as well. Since he has the Angora. Then I'll have then I have like triple polymorph. UDK polymorph doesn't count. I should I should just switch it to life harvest to be honest and pay the gems. I'll do it after this battle. I've gone back and forth with that, but the thing is that, especially now, when people have 6-star blessings often on nukers, you get a lot of resistance from 5-star, and I think my UD case may be 220 accuracy, but I don't think that's enough to actually land any polymorphs very often at least. Surely there's no way that he would ban the Dutchess. I feel like he's thinking about it because he's waiting for us so long. Maybe if I don't ban the Yumeko... Yeah, okay. M maybe if I ban something else than Yumeko and he banned the Dutchess, then I would have been screwed. But... I wasn't gonna pick anything but the Yumeko. He has everybody on his team in stone skin, and I have everybody except my Narsus. I've actually encountered the issue that sometimes it feels like I have uh, too much stone skin. It's it's actually surprisingly often that I meet Gizmark, because I don't have Polymorph. And the Gizmarks are actually pretty hard for me. They, they one-shot me before I get turned if I... If I'm running like triple or quad stone skin, which I often am. That's why I kind of don't want to have my every nuker of mine in 4P stone skin. And well, I don't have stone skin be accessories on Narthus anyway, so I couldn't do that build even if I wanted to. I guess we're just gonna do this for Rodos. But also he has high HP pool. So, out of all of my champions... Oh, f I misclicked. <laughs> out of all of my champions, he's definitely the best one to be in reaction instead of stone skin. Okay, that was just silly. I should have done the A2 on Ronda. I wasn't gonna do A3 because I would have lost the buffs, but I didn't even do that. Also, the this... Wukongs have surprisingly high accuracy. The last one polymorphed me as well. And I think my UDK has like 400 something resistance, so I would think that it's usually enough for Wukongs, but not to the last two at least. Usually I resist Wukongs, to be honest.
Okay, I think surely we're gonna win this one at least. But yeah, today is kind of a test run. I'm kind of seeing if I want to run my Rotos in Polymorph. I guess it didn't save me right there. It, it could have, it could have Polymorphed the Ronda and cancelled the skill. Sadly it didn't, but I mentioned it before and I think most people know that Bone Armor has insane synergy with Rotos since when you have those stacks you can't even take 50% of your damage, meaning that you can't die to a double hit at the start of the fight, and if you have some kind of heals and you get the bone armor stacks back, it makes your Rotos very tanky. But, um, wait. Why can't I okay, get there? It's so, it's so, con I hate when it's named Ward of the Fallen, and then the then the buff is named Bone Armor. Why can't they both be the same name? Like, either it's Ward of the Fallen and you get Ward of the Fallen stacks, or then it's Bone Armor and you get Bone Armor stacks. Why does, have, have, why does the buff have different name than the actual skill? When the entire skill is the buff. But yeah, I just keep calling it Bone Armor. So, anyway, it's super good on Rotos. You generally wouldn't run it on most other champions, even though it's very strong. I think people often like to run it on Taras and a little bit on Narthus, but usually they actually go with Polymorph still. But on Rotos it's very like especially good. It's overall very good, but most snookers are not tanky and it doesn't really synergize with them. And Polymorph is just so needed because it's the CC meta. But yeah, we are with the Polymorph today. Hopefully we will get at least one fight that I win because of the Polymorph on Rotos. Okay, how much do I have? Okay, so like 420? Yeah, okay, we got 420 resistance on UDK. I feel like it should be generally enough for Wukongs. I I mean, it would be enough for my Wukong. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I, I wouldn't build my Wukong with 400 accuracy, but I know that surprisingly many people do, but... My Wukong is full damage, he, he doesn't have accuracy. It would be nice to have a little bit of it, but I'm not gonna sacrifice damage to get a little bit accuracy on him. Okay, let's get more wins. I feel like maybe the, the battle where I was afraid to pick the Rotos against Harima, maybe it was a good wake me up, because I probably haven't been picking Rotos enough lately. And even though he's not good at all in the meta, he's still a so strong champion that often he's probably... <laughs> probably it's better to pick Rotos against a hard counter than picking Xena against a, a mediocre matchup. Rotos is just so much better. I do like my Xena, but I need to be more specific what I pick it against, and Rotos I, I guess I can just pretty much pick against even the biggest counters for him. Okay, again Mikage, everybody is picking Mikage. It would be kind of better if I picked Rotos now to get the Polymorph early on, but there's super high chance that he will go with Narsus if I, if I pick Rotos and not Narsus, and if I'm gonna pick Rotos, I'm gonna pick UDK as well, so I think I'm still gonna pick Narasus and Angora first, and probably Rotos and UDK after that, but we have the last pick, I could go with other combinations too, like UDK and Wukong, or maybe Tormin and Helicat or um, Mitrola, so we do have some other options, but they are very situational. Like right now, he has one lockout and and one buff strip champion, and he can still pick one more. There's no way I can go with Helicat. Yeah, I guess I guess we're just gonna go with Rodos. I don't really have to go with UDK, but should I go with it anyway? 
it would be kind of funny to pick Lydia against him. I feel like I could almost go with Lydia, but now nah, let's just go with Duchess and Rodos. Isn't... Yeah, I feel like that's the play. He needs to pick one more Nuker anyway. He can totally go with Harima, but... At least he can't have UDK as well. I might have been tempted to go with UDK and Wukong, if it wasn't for the fact that he still has the nuke pick left and could go with Harima. Okay, Taras. This doesn't seem too bad. I mean, Taras isn't... Both both Naros and Rotos have a great matchup against him, so that's not the issue. I think the main issue here is... Uh, him going first and Mikage being super annoying, but I think we can take this one. By the way, I do have my Arbiter kind of geared right now. She's fastest she has ever been. I think she's like 374 or something like that. So maybe I will pull Arbiter in some fights, but like you saw, saw in the fights we already did, or this one. I, actually, he, he only has one champion in stone skin, but Orbi stone skin is super common, so I don't think Arbiter is the best pick right now in live arena. Especially, especially not if you don't have her also in a tanky build. I mean, if you happen to have her in a very fast and tanky build, that would make it a little bit more um sensible than running my super super squishy arbiter against a team that is very likely mostly or fully stone skin anyway. Should we just brave and see if we can get rid of it on the first turn? Ah no weak hit but it it still didn't die. Okay and now it's definitely not gonna die. But Come on, surely we got this fight. He he has a lot of buffs, but not that many buffs, and he's not gonna get a lot more. This guy is pretty high rated as well. I think the other people we fought just now were all around my rating or 4.8k, but this guy is almost 6k. He must be in like I don't know, like maybe top 70, something like that. I think he, I think top 100 right now is 5.5k, so he must be decently about that. And I, I used to be like top 100, maybe like two months ago, but I haven't been as actively, active, active lately as I was then. So I, I'm like rank 200 right now. The meta hasn't been great for me, so that's also kind of. Uh, <laughs> maybe eaten my motivation a little bit and then there has been some other complications as well okay i think this was this was actually pretty easy fight there's no way he can he can beat us at this point we're running double reviver so it's safe. Okay, let's... Let's check out what's going on on Reddit. Okay, here's an interesting thread. There has been so much talk about Wixpell lately, because of the like the issues with him, you know, him being super good. Wixpell has me worried about Deadwood Jedi. I don't know how much money he makes from his website and helping people with clan boss beat tunes, but it seems to me like Wixpell has essentially invalidated the need for a speed tune anymore. 
I'd really like to know Deadwood Jedi's opinion about the current. Okay, that's not what I was expecting him to say. <laughs> it looks like he hasn't uploaded a video in a month. I think Deadwood Jedi has been not super actively active in in a while. He kind of comes back for a little bit and then then he's he's not super active like he used to be. Let's put it that way. And I, I haven't been super active lately either, so... Okay, UDK... I mean UDK. Harima and Wukong. Are we gonna pick UDK or not? I feel... Yeah, I think this is one of the same situation we were talking about before. Maybe I will just brave the Harima and go with the... Go with the Rotos. Let's actually pick... Dutchess and UDK right now, because there's a good chance that he would go with the Dutchess pick. By the way, speaking of the Sacred 2x event we got on this weekend, I don't think I'm gonna pull at all. Even though we have 2x, but then there's also 10x to those different faction lords, and... <laughs> I think that's like a mini Duchess. I don't, I don't think it was that good. Let me double check it after this battle, but I don't think that champion looked insanely good. But um, yeah, we got the 10 axe for those champions on each day um, during the 2x sacreds, and I don't want to get any of them. I think I have like 11 ancient shard, uh, sacred shards, and who knows, maybe they'll just do a... I feel like they did 1 plus 1 a while ago, so maybe not next week, but often they do 1 plus 1 right after the 2x7, so maybe they'll do that, or I'll just save it for some future events. Raid has been putting so many good shard events this year that I'm sure we will get some insanely special events some other time that I can spend them on. I don't have my hopes up that I'm gonna get the Harima with 11 uh, sacreds, so... Yeah, a lot of discussion about weeks, but I was kind of expecting that. Not a lot of PvP talk today, though. I I did look this champion skills, but I totally can't recall the name out of the top of my head, but I think he was like a reviver that was okay, but not something that I would prefer over Dutchess or um or Angora. The, the issue is that he has super tanky team here with double reviver and harima and the wukong is eventually gonna one shot our entire team so that's gonna be an issue even if i were to kill kill harima but since he does have an active revive and not just the Marriage capacity, it's actually not not easy to finish this guy off. If if I even get to kill the Harima at all, I might not even be able to kill it once. Yeah, may maybe instead of try trying to destroy the Harima through that massive shield. Actually I don't there's no way I can kill the Wukong. Because let's let's see. Yeah, it's not even close. He had a big shield and harem pass, but yeah, I, I need to. I'll I'll focus on stacking the A2, and I'll try to deal with harem later. But with those massive shields and strength and defense, okay, nice. Ah, no, now I kind of feel dumb about wasting the A3. Oh, did I just reset the cooldown of A3? Oh my god, that's lucky. Yeah, 
if I can get a turn now when Arma passive isn't in the play, then we're good. I I wasn't paying attention. Was it? I guess it was Duchess who broke the polymorph, not Trotos there. Ah, he already got it back. That sucks. I think it's 10 or 15% chance to get rid of the polymorph on the auto attack. But yeah, I guess this is why why Drock is so so mad about polymorph and why I mean, I, obviously for a reason I'm always saying that I need more polymorph, but I guess this is why we have have big differences on that that I haven't been using a lot of polymorph, so I haven't been I have haven't been enjoying this that the enemy enemy team gets multiple polymorphs in row a lot. Yeah, I'm, even though I don't think, at least on the first one, it wasn't Rotos. Maybe the second one was Rotos, but just the thought that he can also protect my team with polymorph is kind of um, sinking in my head that maybe maybe I'll actually stay with the polymorph instead of the bone armor. I know many people have been suggesting it in comments and. DMs many times and I have thought about it many times as well but actually I did do it once but then I still switched back okay I feel like we should pretty much start block reviving now and as long as I can block revive the Wukong then I think we're good we will definitely kill the Harima eventually but the, I'm not too worried about the Harima killing us it can kill us, but it will it will not be easy. But the Wukong can can do a game over to us in one second. One one A2 at the right moment and it's over for us. But I think the next next A3 is a block revive. Does he have oh he has polymorph on Harima. Yeah, I need to be careful with those A1s. Ah, uh, he has a whale up. Yeah, we're just gonna do A2. Like, if I didn't get the weak hit here, I probably could kill it because even though it has strength and defense buff, but it it's not super high HP. So we probably meh, actually may, maybe not maybe not with the Harima passive. Almost could have killed it with the A3 if I didn't weak it, but I wasn't gonna gamble with that. But and yeah, it wouldn't have happened with the Harima passive. Without it, definitely I think it would have been very low HP. But right now, but I don't think it would have died. But yeah, I, I'm sure he he hates my team too. I mean, it's pretty tanky. Damn, maybe I should have just gone with the A3 instead of um, A2 on the second hit. The, the first hit, I should have A1'd like I did, but I guess I should have gambled and tried to block revive the Harima. But for sure, right now, Rotos has has stolen enough HP to do the block revival. I think I think today we're just gonna gonna spam Rotos. I try to be smart, but um, picking Xena or Tormin against an okay fight. Actually, should I go for the Maris? I feel like I, nah. Let's go for the Wukong to be safe. Picking something like Xena or um, not Wukong, Tormin against okay fight. Is actually not that good because they are not that strong. You need to pick them against the perfect matchup. They are not like Rotos that you got 
lots of leeway because it's both tanky and high damage. Wukong I'll definitely use, but it needs to be against the right matchup that they they don't have Harima. As you can see, Protoss actually can can kind of fight against Harima team, even though it's super hard. But Wukong just can't do anything. W Wukong will never be able to win a fight like this. Okay, he just he surrendered. Okay, so we started out with two losses. Now we're three wins. I feel like I'm I definitely could have won both of the first fights, but okay. Let's get a massive win streak now. Also, I talked about this a little bit on the yesterday's video, but I guess after next win we're gonna get the live arena chest and the impulse set, or I guess both of the sets, seal set and impulse set were both buffed recently and actually both of them are very good. I, impulse set is maybe not quite, um, I mean seal set is not quite as good as impulse but it's still very good. 20 crit damage and 3% damage for every 25% HP you have, so it's better than crit damage set. But even with that effect, <laughs> Gruul is still gonna be better, but Impulse is just the flat out best 2P speed set right now. It's a speed set with the added bonus of having a chance to reduce your cooldowns, which is a massive deal. It's pretty much as good as um, it gets on the passive effects of accessories or like any of those extra effects. Okay, Doty King, I feel like I have fought this guy like a trillion times. His name sounds super familiar to me. By the way, what do you guys think? Like, should I just pick Rotos way off them? Like, I feel like maybe, maybe sometimes I'm just trying too hard and I should just go with Rotos and Narses almost every single fight. Un unless they have like, like I, I can't even recall last time there was a chance to use Stormin because so many nukers even do immunity buff nowadays, but I should only save these for very special matchups. Okay, he, he kind of completely nullified me that he got both Narses and UDK so that I can't pick either Rotos or Wukong. And if he has Harima, and maybe he has, but if he has, then I definitely can't use <laughs> can't use those two, but I guess I'll just have to go. Yeah, I'll just have to do it anyway. If he has Harima and Lockout, I have two robbers and chance to win. And I mean, I w I mean, having both Harima and Lockout at this rating is probably almost everybody. I think it's vast majority of people. Probably he's familiar with my account as well, since. He say, his name sounds familiar to me, so he might have done that on purpose and and have Harima and Lockout. Who knows, maybe he makes a mistake here and gives me an opportunity to use either like Tormin or Xena. I wouldn't mind using Tormin. Okay, so he gets the immunity bolt from the Duchess and the Necret, and the last pick is gonna be Nukar, but I can only ban one of these, so... Thormin isn't super great here. But... Helicat is great, so we'll go with Helicat and... <sighs> Helicat and... Do I want to go with Wukong? If... If he picks Harriman out, then the Wukong pick, pick will... Nah, no, we're gonna do it, yeah, let's go with this. If he picks Harriman, we're just gonna ban it and... 
try to deal with um, UDK over time. Yeah, it, this is kind of opportunity because, like I said, not very often is Helicat viable, and he might have picked like all of these champions are my main picks, and he picked a lot of stuff, making the matchup very hard for me, but. At least we get to use the Helicot. Okay, he's running new Kramanto. We're just gonna ban it for sure. There's really no other ways to stop Narsus A2 outside of Harima passive and something like block damage, but we got it, so... And yeah, we're running double Nuker against double single target Nuker against the UDK. This is not ideal, but it's what we have to do, so it is what it is. I don't recommend I don't recommend this, but I I have to do this. It's better than banning the UDK and having my Helicat be useless. And we do have both Helicat and the Reviver here, so maybe we can last long enough. Though, though he has the UDK protected by Necrot, so it's not gonna be easy. Th that's, that's by the way, <laughs> that's a dreadful combination to have UDK protected by Necrot. I'm kind of surprised that his UDK is so low HP, that it's lower than Narsus, but I guess he must have some kind of high resist build on the UDK. And if, even if he didn't my Wukong wouldn't have enough uh, accuracy to polymorph it, but it's very safe to say that for sure, guaranteed, uh, we're not going to be able to polymorph the, Wuk uh, the UDK with my Wukong. There's no way he would be that, that low HP with the UDK if he didn't have a high resistance. Also, we need to be careful with those um, Angora buffs, because if we get three buffs, then he can block revive Wukong. So we should kind of often avoid using the Angora A2 and just spam the A1 and the revive. Maybe we get lucky here and we get 3% and we polymorph the UDK even through the resistance, that's probably our best way to um, deal with this. Yeah, th th this might be a very long battle. The yeah, let's go for... Okay, A3 is on cooler. I was gonna say let's do A3, but I guess we'll have to go with the A2. Come on, give us Polymorph. Okay, resisted. I knew it, but we might get lucky and just go through the resistance anyway. And the Necrot also isn't that tanky, so I guess we can we can kill it on the next Wukong A3. At least we have one normal AoE nuke, so we can do some damage to the Necrot. Wait, does it have bolster? <laughs> Is it gonna be full HP? Okay. After that, then. Mm, yeah, let's do the A2 just to reduce everybody's defense. Oh, he do doesn't have any life harvest. That reminds me that I was supposed to put my UDK in life harvest. I need to do it after this battle. I don't really have any heals, so my 
Ankara is just gonna die eventually, or maybe sooner than later. Oh, okay, we got the block revived there. Not good. Wait, wait, the UDK still didn't lose the stone skin. That's funny. We're almost five minutes in the battle. But he's gonna lose it now, finally. Then, then the Necrot is gonna take a little bit more damage from the ally protection. But yeah, I, th I think we lost it. We, we have the block damage next turn, but... Angora is super low HP, even if he survives now a couple turn, couple turns, but it's gonna it's not gonna get the HP back. We we don't have any heals. Okay, like no no damage, we didn't even break the shield, so Necro didn't take any damage from the ally protection. Damn, we're we're so we were so close killing the Necrot last time, and we would have done it now if I had the AoE nuke, but okay, it's for sure over, there's no way we can survive long enough to get a turn, I don't think. But, but what else, if I pick Xena, she will just die to every single nuke that he did, even on like one hit from the A3 would be enough to kill Xena, and Tormund would never have the damage to kill this team, so... I don't think I had any other options. If I, w when I get the Marius, definitely I would have enough damage to kill that team with Marius, though. And it would be kind of interesting when. Doesn't Marius, um, his defense buff isn't just for himself, but it's for the entire team, right? I think that's that's gonna be pretty noticeable in the fights. Yeah, on all allies. Nice. Let's also put the UDK in the life harvest. I would definitely have it in the poly polymorph if, if it was 6 star. Oh, we had a free swap. Nice. Okay, I th thought we were gonna get a winning streak, but the UDK... UDK Necrot combo crushed us. I guess I should have faced against the Ramandu after all, but I I probably would have just lost that one even faster. Since he's going with the Galatir, maybe maybe I'm not gonna go with them. Um, <coughs> I'm thinking that maybe I'll stack some Polymorph, but do I want to get the Duchess or... Uh, I almost could... Could do this battle without picking Necro. Let's go with Duchess and Narsus. Let's do it this way, yeah. And I'll probably pick Rotos and Angora as my last two. I don't think he's gonna pick UDK, and even if he does, I might be able to ban it.
But let's try to get as many, yeah, polymorphs as possible. Now we actually have three polymorphs, so even if he bans one of them, which probably he will ban Armands, but I will still have two polymorphs. He might not ban Armands if he doesn't know that I'm running stone skin on him, if he assumes that he's gonna go first and lock me out. Okay, it's a very scary looking team, but this matchup isn't hard countering me, really, so I feel like this is doable. Even, even though this, on paper, this looks way scarier than the last team. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for Galatir ban. I almost thought about banning one of the Nukers, but... Let's just go with the Galatir. Maybe I actually could have just banned the George. That, that might have been a good choice. Okay, nice. My Duchess was so tanky that it survived the uh, George Nuke, even when he brocked both the passive and Helm Smasher, but we, we still did it. She's too tanky. 146k hit and she wasn't even close to dying. Okay, and that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. He doesn't have... A, UDK or Harima, so see if he's dying like twice over on that nook. Okay, I feel like we at least did a good, like, pick and ban phase this time, but he also definitely wasn't really countering me and probably doesn't, doesn't know my champion pool. Like some of those other, others probably did. Wait. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, let, let's roll the helmet. It has a speed roll, so or means upset. So let's see if we can roll it. Everything else is just an instant sell, but actually this is a very, very potential helmet. No, I mean of, of course the speed is much more important than having HP or defense on the substats, but it doesn't hurt to have those. Come on, give us triple. Okay. Probably I will upgrade this later on some event and just use it anyway as a filler piece. It's still a tanky helmet on a speed set, so maybe not for PvP, but maybe I'll just use it on some Hydra build or whatever. I'll, I'll keep it. Everything else go goes to the to the bin. By the way, don't don't even look at my Mika gear right now. I stole some gear from her. And then I didn't put proper gear back on her, so she's basically ungeared right now. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not planning to use her in that build. I, I can do better. Okay, UDK and Wukong first too, because that's unusual.
and he's also running the polymorph without six star blessing. It maybe makes a little bit more sense on the Wukong if he has a little bit more accuracy on it that he probably does because people generally are building their new Wukongs with a good amount of accuracy. Except me, of course. Damn, I don't have my Initvel or Eva geared. They could be very good in this battle. Am I just gonna have to go with the Xena? I don't think Xena is actually gonna be that great here, but I guess we'll have to do it. Yeah, I I almost want to ban the No, we were gonna ban Yumeko. I was gonna say that I could ban the Wukong, but no way. Yeah, Wu Wukong can be scary, but we are very tanky, even if we don't have UDK and Harma, and if we can just survive for a bit, I, maybe we can do it, but I, I think he's gonna have a lot of damage with both the Wukong and Rotos, and we're not really gonna kill either one of those, I mean, we're not... Oh. I dropped a coin. We're not gonna have enough hits to one shot Rotos because it's gonna ma take multiple hits and Wukong is just gonna keep coming back. Ah, no reaction, Brock. By the way, their Rotos, Rotos survived because of the bone armor, otherwise it would have died, because we did ignore the passive, but the bone armor just added some tankiness to it. Do I need to go for the A2? I feel like it's gonna die in one hit, but I don't really want to... Okay, let's gamble. I feel like it should die on... Ugh. I knew it, I should have done the A2. Ah, goddamn. He's gonna take a turn before my Ankara, so I'm screwed. About before my Narsus, I mean. Okay, no, doesn't matter. Wukong to get And then before that. Mm. Wait, didn't he just use the. Did he use the Revive? No, he didn't. Okay, never mind. The Duchess wasn't tanky. Surely we can survive long enough to kill the UTK. I think we're good. Wukong is gonna be annoying, but we can survive that long. Yeah, okay. My, my Narciss is hitting pretty hard. Maybe the, maybe the HP on the banner actually made some differences and was helpful. It's kind of surprising because... Uh, let me pull up the build on the optimizer, but I mean... Like I mentioned before, I switched my... Wait, wait, okay, this is this is an outdated pick. This is not what he has on. Um, okay, I guess that, that was a good example. But what you just saw with the HP boost, that's what I run on the reset. I think, yeah, I think I was just calculating if my... If I got an upgrade with an item I just got, maybe... Maybe I could have done a different build, but it, the same build is still the best one. But that's what I run on reset. It's a lot slower with more damage with HP boots. But we're with speed boots on this set. So we're kind of sacrificing a lot of damage for that. I think I might even consider re rerolling the ascension on those boots and going for double speed after I get the four star blessing on Narsus. But for now, I don't want to really lose any damage. So I'll. I'll stick with this, but maybe that um, that 1.8k HP was enough to put me on a better threshold to have enough damage. 
I think I also got like um I don't recall what beast. Maybe it was the weapon. There there was some beast that had a 4% HP roll and I got a 6% roll with 6 star clip, so also got a little bit more HP from that as well. Very mini school thing. <laughs> not, not the life changing thing, but all the little stuff counts and of course I pay attention to it. By the way, in case there's anybody watching on watching my videos and not using Hell Hades optimizer for builds, I kind of had this chat with Ash a couple times because both times I did a video on him. <laughs> During the video, like we were talking about his builds and whatever, and I was like saying, can you pull this up on Hell, Hell Hades optimizer? And both times we had the same conversation that he doesn't have it, he hasn't used it. He knows that he should, and I, he finally did it after after the second video. He said that he's gonna do it, and I heard from other people that he was using it on video. Like, I think it was literally maybe like the next day, like people were commenting on my Discord about it. But um, if you're not using Hell Hades Optimizer, you're you're missing out big time. It's actually way bigger deal than you might think if you have never used it. Not only is it impossible to calculate perfect peels on account with lots of gear, but it's just super time time consuming and the optimizer is just insanely good. They keep adding different things to it to make them the the gear optimizer give you more options for very specific stuff that you're looking for. And it's just um there's no way around not using it. Don't do it. You need to use it. Not 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 paid, by the way. Not not a paid sponsorship, but just just advice. Can we actually go, go, go with Tormin on this one? Okay, let's see if we can pull pull off a Tormin battle. He's not running any. I was just talking about this before on this video that. Tormin isn't really usable. I used to use Tormin actually quite a lot, not that long. Not that long ago. Should we go for it? Yeah, we're gonna... Yumeko or... Mikake. We do have double glance. I think we're gonna go for Yumeko. But... I haven't been using Tormin a lot lately, just because in this meta you're not gonna find teams that he works against, but I used to use him a lot not long time ago. But when everybody's using, let's say, Sifi, and then they're also using m multiple of the top tier Primal champions have immunity buff. Grixia, Galatir, Lazarus, literally all of the best ones have immunity buff, so even by accident the teams usually have Two to three immunity buffs and uh, buff strips less um, block buffs, debuffs. So both Helicat and Torbin are kind of not viable in this meta. Okay, I think we're we're good. Can we even do a double turn? I'm gonna polymorph the Ronda if I can cut in before her. Okay, I did. Nice. Yeah. Armand's OP. What can I say? Armand's is pretty good. In case you didn't, didn't know. I love Armands. I know it's gonna hurt people if he, if he gets nerfed, but in, and I know people are gonna get mad at this, but in ideal world, if I was in charge, I would nerf Armands and many other champions as well. So let me put it that way. I would nerf Lockout as a mechanic. I would nerf every single Lockout champion indirectly, and I would nerf um, Armands for sure. It it wouldn't be the first thing to do, but I would do it instantly on like day one if I was the god king of Plarium. Like you know, when people have those fantasies that if I become the president, the first thing I'm gonna do is like axe, and it's gonna be something like ask about the I don't know 
the UFO files or something like that. People have things that they want to do on day one, like legalize weed or get the UFO files or whatever. For me, I have that power fantasy about Plarium, how I, how I would fix PvP on day one. Anyway, that that's gonna that's not gonna happen. But you can you can always dream about it. And I'm sure if I did did do that, then still still tons of people would not be happy about it. So it is what it is. Obviously, you can't you can fully make the players happy with everything. Okay, he has both Lockout and Armands. This is not looking good for me. <laughs> Let's pray that he doesn't also have Harima, but I have a feeling that he might. Harima and Galatir right now, that, that would be pretty terrible. Or uh, Harima and Krixia. Now, Harima and Kalatir would be better in this situation because he doesn't have any heals or revives. Or I guess, I guess Warlord technically has a heal. But okay, he went with triple Nuker. I'm gonna assume that all of them or most of them are in Stone Skin. Uh. Should I pick Dutchess? Oh, Thormin would, would also almost be interesting here too, but I don't think I'm... No, I'm not gonna do that. I guess we're gonna go with Dutchess, yeah. Between Dutchess and Necret, but... Um, he's actually not gonna ignore the Dutchess passive with those champions, and they do AoE, so I think it might be good. And we'll get Polymorph as well. Wait, I'm 86. I guess I've gained some points. I feel like I've been mostly losing today, but maybe I've had a couple more wins, actually. I had high expectations for this session and the last one, but neither one went according to the plan. I think I've learned my lesson, though, that uh, I... Well, I need to pay attention to the picks, of course, and think about it carefully, but I I, I can't underestimate my Rotos. Okay, I think I feel like with that Polymorph we already basically won the fight. There's no way we can lose at this point. I don't even want to risk the reaction on Dragas, so let's just kill the warlord, but we won. There's no way we, we will lose. Right? Surely there's no way I can lose. I mean, I guess Rag Ragas can put, like, decrease defense and stun and, like, one-shot me. I mean, I guess that's possible, but I feel like I shouldn't lose at this point. You you don't want to underestimate the Ragas damage, though. You don't really use decrease defense debuff a lot in arena these days and you kind of forget how how massive deal that is it's not the days of like madame service and tranda where pe people are doing like 500k aoe nukes with tranda that that's not the thing anymore come on no wicked okay good didn't kill it though, but um, wasn't the weakest. Damn, his triple nuker is hurting me. Come on, there's no way I'm gonna lose this. I feel like we're gonna lose. Ah, come on. Don't lose it. I don't want to lose this one.
<laughs> I'm start starting to regret using the A2 on the Warlord instead of Ragas. Ragas had a uh, potential reaction, so that could have happened, but maybe I should have risked it. Wait, does he have AoE in Ukoran? If he doesn't, then I'm good. Oh, he does. No, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, this is so scary. Um, and I can get feared. Okay, Ragas or Taros. I think I don't think I can kill either one right now. Okay, I did. I think I just barely killed that Ragas. Pretty sure it had like 50 50k plus HP. I think doesn't Ragas have like 20k base HP or something? I don't think it has like insanely low one. Yeah, it's close. My Duchess is super tanky though. Maybe, maybe she can survive long enough for the next revive. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> nope. I guess I should have done some A1s on the Taras. Kind of close-ish, but not enough. Yeah, you don't you don't want to underestimate the decreased defense and of course Alas and Taras both have crazy damage as well. And to be fair, I mean I did get lots of debuff. I feel like did Rotos proc the goddamn Polymorph at all today? Maybe it did, like, you tell me, maybe I wasn't paying attention, but why couldn't I get a Polymorph proc there? I, I feel like there's, there was so many opportunities to Polymorph the Nukers and I would have been fine. And I had double Polymorph now with both Rotos and Datsus. But yeah, I, I will stick with the Polymorph on Rotos, it's just too important. And I can't wait to have 6-star Polymorph on my UDK as well. Wait, is, is that first Grixia today? I don't know why, but it feels like Grixia isn't that popular these days. Even though, at least for me personally, and it also has a lot to do with Classic Arena, but Grixia is literally my most wanted champion in the game. And she's one of the older primals, so she's actually quite common compared to the other ones. I feel like he's gonna go with Harima. I might go with Wukong though, but I, I'll save the Wukong for the last pick. If he doesn't, doesn't get the Harima. Yeah, I thought thought about Tormin for a second, but that pesky Grixia does have the immunity buff though, so. Okay, Gizmark and Taros. Can we do this? Maybe. Let's go with Triple Nuker. Should I? Or Necret. Wukong or Necret. I, I, I have no idea. Let's go with Wukong. Let, let's see what happens. I don't have UDK, I don't have like immovable object, but I st still do have Angora in 6p stone skin and she isn't that fast, so. He banned my Rotos, that, that's kind of unexpected. I thought he would ban one of my supports since I went with Triple Nuker.
Well, I, I guess Rodos probably has the best matchup against the lockout here, but also Vuko. Oh, wait, I resisted on Narsus. <laughs> now, if he just doesn't die before he gets a turn, then we're good. Come on, reaction, Brock. Give me reaction. Okay, he didn't even go after Narsus. Come on, reaction, reaction, reaction. Come on. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Wukong got back because of, of all of his extra turns and we haven't got the Polymorph. I think we're good. I mean, isn't my if my Narcissus just gets a turn here, he's gonna kill everybody. I don't think even the Taras is gonna survive it. Ah, oh, come on. I'm, I'm, this is a big suspension. Am I gonna get a turn on Narsus or not? He has so much like the speed buffs and speed decrease and speed debuff. Ah! No! 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 Oh, oh. He took like 15 turns before. My Narsus is like, dude, like 242 speed or whatever. It's not like he's slow, but he took. Trillion turns and yeah, he got locked out. God damn it. That sucks. <laughs> it, it would have been a clean sweep if my my Narsus just got a turn. But in case you're wondering, the, the, this is why I went with the polymorph on my Rotos. I have been abused by the CC too much lately and I just I had to get more polymorph. There's like <laughs> I really need that polymorph, even even if it doesn't brock, but just for the peace of mind, I I want to have it. Are we gonna risk weak it? Ah. Okay, since we lasted this long and Grixia is dead, surely we're gonna win at this point. Even Arbis has lockout on A1. Both Arbis and Shu Chen have a goddamn lockout. I I put those on my last video or second last video. I put bunch of local champion avatars on the <laughs> on the video uh, thumbnail and some people were complaining about it but that wasn't even half of the goddamn local champions in the game like give me a break i hate local Wh what can i say i i get that if like the only good champion you pulled on your account is like Krixia or yumek or something you probably wouldn't want local to be nerfed but I feel like it's a bad mechanic, what can I say? Okay, I think I think we're against some uh, some Kraken account from IPR, so that's not promising good. At least we got the first pick though. At least he's not gonna have uh, Lazarus, Lazarus, Galatir and Armands, he's only only gonna have two of them, so maybe it's okay. Okay, and he took the Narcissus, that's not good either. Yeah, th we have to go with the UDK and Rodos. Against Harima. Maybe he doesn't even go with Harima, maybe he, maybe he doesn't have it then. We're gonna see like Lazarus and Chu Chen or yeah, something like that. New it. I mean Lazarus is insanely good if um 
if you have the means to do it. So I, I get it. Um, okay, so we're definitely gonna go with Wukong. Let's. To be honest, he, if I was him right now, I would still go with Harima. I could, I mean, I, I will ban it if he does it, but I would go with Harima as his, as his last pick and go with Triple Nuker. But okay, what's our last pick gonna be though? I could almost go with Helicat and ban the Lazarus, but it's very likely that his last pick is gonna be like a lockout or something. So. Maybe it's better to go with uh, Gatsus, right? Yeah, I, I think so. The meta is just too, too stricting on yeah on the Heligat stuff. Yeah, we we have to ban the Yumek. We. Can we can't play against a team with double lockout. I have done that enough times and I know it's not gonna end up well for me. He doesn't have any turn meter boost. He probably has one of his nukers very fast, but there's a possibility that we might actually um, go first. Oh, everybody's in stone skin. Nice. Well, maybe it's actually better if he, if he goes first, to be honest, then. Yeah. I hope my if my Rotos goes now after Narsus, but before Lazarus, that would be perfect. Actually, okay. I feel like he, he made a mistake there. He shouldn't have killed my... Wukong, unless he gets revived just before. Okay, good. Yeah, he can't lock my Rotos out now, so... Rotos is actually... Oh, okay. Wait, oh. What, what's the Rotos? What's the Rotos? Or... I, I feel like that was probably Dutchess, actually. Anyway, even if it was Dutchess, we, we, will, we will give that to Rotos. Th thank God for a Polymorph. Good job, Rotos. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Anyway. <laughs> What? What is that damage? Even, even without Helm Smasher Pock, that seems low. What? Dude, my Rotos has very good gear. Rotos is like 8k attack, 350, 5 crit damage, and like 62k HP or something like that. He, he doesn't have like okay build, he has very good build. But 50k damage, what? That seems super low. He doesn't have Harima. How? Uh, how did that happen? I feel like that that has to be like the minimum roll and no helm smasher block and like terrible RNG. Yeah, I think we lost. We, we had it, we had it, but Rotos Rotos lost it. Uh well may, maybe we Maybe Wukong can get it done. Probably not. I mean, the Necrot is at full HP. I don't think we... Even if we get to do A2 and Brock Helm Smasher, I don't think we can do it at this point. But it was super close. We, I almost thought we had it when when the Lazarus could polymorph. But yeah, I mean, my builds are fast, but I'm kind of missing the, the speed from Faction Guardians and Blessings and of course possible Empowerment, but, but that's like at least 25 speed, if not more, that I'm missing out. So it's actually like 25 or 35 speed. It's actually a lot. I mean, my Nukers would be like 270, 280 speed in, in attack boots or HP boots. If I, um, if I had like faction guardians, uh, blessing and empowerment. Okay, well, we lost it. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like my nukers should be fastest. I kind of don't like the fact that he he had faster nukers than me, but I'm. Yeah, he, yeah, he he has like six star blessing. Well, not not on Lazarus, but on Narcissus, and obviously he has. 
Faction Guardians on both of them. I don't recall how close I am to gain speed on Knight Revenant. Let's check after this fight. I can't recall at all, but surely there's no way I have it. Maybe I think I might be like very low. Maybe I'm like 4 out of 10 or something like that. Okay, Harima and Galatir and Armans. That's nice. If, if I don't pick UDK now, he can still even pick the UDK. <laughs> we we have to do it. Yeah. I would have prefer, preferred to pick Rotos earlier to get the Polymorph in the team order, but it's not that big deal. At least we have the Polymorph. Oh. Well, I mean, Mikage is gonna be soon. Now, who do I even want to ban here? I want to ban every support of his plus Harima, but I think we, yeah, we still have to go with the Arman's ban. Okay, he banned the Duchess, and if I didn't have the Polymorph now on Rotos, then we would have no Polymorph at all and basically no chance to win. I mean, we, st we still have a chance to win, but pretty much we need to get Polymorph on the Harima and or Galatir to actually win it. Come on, Rotos, you can do it. Maybe it's time to... Um, to put, put fears on presence on Rotos instead of Helm Smasher. He doesn't proc the Helm Smasher anyway, so might as well go with the fears on presence. Okay. Yeah. Everybody is locked out and and or polymorphed and taunted then. Yeah. Enjoy. His Galatir is not very tanky, so. If I, if I would have gotten a polymorph there, I will, I feel like I would have been on a great position, but I didn't. So it's over. Yeah. Man, this this feels so wrong. Anyway. Uh, but by the way, and. On the other side of the Arman's debate, like the one thing that kind of triggers me a little bit is when people were saying that you're not gonna get any turns against Armans. Hello, can, can you see the meta? There's like million champions that can do this, so it's not just Armans that can do it, but anyway. But I think all of them should be nerfed, including Armans. I feel like we're kind of losing it at the end. We were doing pretty good midway on the video, but now I'm just losing the battles and my sanity. Wait, it's, it's the same guy? Okay, so the only way to win is to get Polymorph, basically. I wonder if I pick Rotos now, I, he's gonna pick it. Okay, let's just pick... Should I go for Rotos and UDK to have those two Polymorphs? Nah, nah. Hmm... Yeah, I have to go for the UDK. There's no way he's not gonna pick UDK if I go with Rodos. I just, I don't have any way to deal with this team.
The only way I can win is with Polymorph, and that's it. My champions are not good enough. I will literally pick the same team again that I just picked, because there's nothing better to do. And we will go with the same ban as well. Maybe we can win this time with the power of Polymorph. Let's see. By the way, I don't know if I should say this, but if you were a big whale, I feel like right now, well, they are starting to put in some bad champions in the primal pool but mo okay we actually got a turn most of the primals are super good right now some of them are insanely good i mean this might be the time to <laughs> to buy shards and i yeah i shouldn't even say this because i don't really want to, <laughs> to help plarium but um yeah ch ch chances are that there's gonna be a bunch of garbage primals added later on because some of the existing ones are just ridiculously good and it might be harder to get them in the future if we didn't weak hit there we would have won the battle but let's see after after galatir locks out my team yeah not fun I guess I should have saved the planes, but I wanted the shield. Uh. Okay. Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, we almost won, to be fair. We almost won, but every time I... I battle against that team, I want to... I want to tie a knot around my head, what can I say? I'm super interested to know, are they gonna do, and what do you guys think, are they gonna do primal fusions? I mean, they haven't done one so far, and I almost feel like it might be a thing that they won't do, but what do you guys think about that? We do have the one free, prime, free primal from the uh, cursed city, and even though it's not that great, but they might do one as a fusion at some point. Maybe they are saving it for some some big event like Christmas. Who knows? I feel like surely they will do one eventually. <laughs> and it's probably going to be a really bad one and dilute the pool so that you don't get your Armands or Grixia or Lazarus and so on. Anyway, if this video was, was negative, then <laughs> my bad, I'm not really purposefully trying to get negative, but when you play arena and you get screwed like this, then that's kind of the thoughts that come, come to my head about uh, <laughs> tying noose and stuff, it, it is what it is. And we're just gonna go with the same stupid picks. Like, the thing is that I kind of would want to go with the uh, Rotos and UDK here. But if I don't pick them, there's a very high chance that they're gonna go with Narsus. And I don't have other good nukers. I need to pick the Narsus early on, but I would rather get the Polymorph at this point. But I can't do it. I have two good nukers. 
if I don't get Narsus, he's gonna get taken and it's also gonna counter my Wukong and Rotos and it's just... It's not a smart idea. I pretty much have to go with the same first three picks in every battle. There's just no way around it, sadly. Okay, um... He's using a kind of tanky speed team. I'm thinking that the other nuker might be Georgit or Lazarus, which would be would counter Helicat. But outside of that, Helicat might be a good pick against this. I don't know what I should do. Should I go with this or should I go with Wukong? Mm. Yeah, let, let's go with this. If he picks Harima, I'm um, okay. Okay, the, what? The, okay, this guy doesn't have very insane champion pool. I was gonna say that if he picks Harima, I'm gonna ban it, but if he doesn't pick anything that screws with Helicat plus Harima, then I'm definitely gonna get rid of the Mikage. Nice. Come on, surely I'm. My luck is gonna turn around and I'm gonna get the win. Come on. By the way, speaking of item sets, like you saw on the, the image right now, I was speaking earlier on the video that I'm pretty much done chaos dusting my main accessories on the account. And of course, I want to farm a little bit just to have it on the stock as well. And I need to farm Sand Devil for artifacts, but when I'm done with that, I have been thinking between, like, because dungeons don't aren't super relevant anymore. I have talked about it many times. Haven't been doing it ever since the Chaos Dust, but what do I farm after I start farming dungeons a little bit? Um, let's do A2, yeah. Let's play it safe. It's either going to be Ice Golem or... Um, is this a bad time to revive? I feel like the Ronda is going to cut in. Maybe I should save it for one turn. Let's do that. But um, yeah, either Ice Golem for Exit or then Dragon for Speed. Those two are my main options. Um... And yeah, Hexet is nice for Hydra, but now that we have our own my own plan and we're kind of trying to play CVC low key and smart, does it really matter? And I, I have a couple Hexets. I mean, do I really need a god like Hexet? Probably not. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll farm a little bit of Ice Column and and Dragon both with low expectations, but Getting triples or quad speeds on speed sets is not likely, and obviously I wouldn't care about anything else on the dragon farm. And it probably would be in com comparison. In comparison, oh, it didn't die, and it totally would have died with bone armor, by the way. But in comparison, it's probably fairly easy for me to get an upgrade on. on the hex set. So yeah, maybe I should farm it first a little bit. Okay, nice. Maybe with the shield as well. The Okay, never mind. I went before the Stalos. I was afraid that Stalos was going to kill it before it gets a turn and I was going to say that maybe the shield helps, but I guess we're good. What? Did we get the win after the tree? Three battle loss streak. It's it's good. I mean, to be fair, I mean, compared the guy that we just fought and the other guys that we lost to. So I mean, if you don't think there's a difference between these two teams, between like the drama team and the Russian guy team, then you probably haven't played this game. 
<laughs> it is for what? Why can't I queue? Oh, come on. Varium is conspiring to ru ruin my video again. Is it not enough that we have all of the bugs and I have to deal with this BS? Okay. This BS game balance. At least let me let me torture myself and queue the battles. Come on. If if anything, I feel like Plarium should pay me for playing live arena. Not the other way around. <laughs> okay, I think we're running out of time, so this is probably going to be the last battle of the day, unless we get a fast one. Or maybe we don't find any match. We, we we have four and a half minutes left and we just missed a minute queue. So if we get four or four of four more of those in row then we're done. Yeah, no no way we're got, gonna get another battle. Probably by the time the big can <laughs> big and ban phase ends the uh, um the library and time slot is already over. Maybe that's kind of a very hypocritical thing for me to say because I'm usually the one stalling the pick and ban phase when I'm talking, but it is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> now that I'm picking fast, he's picking, picking it as well. Oh, damn, he got the Wukong. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go with Rotos. Who am I gonna ban? I think I'm still gonna ban the Quixia. Unless he gets a Haruma. But surely he's not gonna do it. I hope... Okay. Gaius? Hmm. Do I need to ban the Gaius? I feel like I actually might be... Be forced to ban the Gaius. Yeah, I think I have to ban it. God damn it. That's not good. Yeah, I have to ban it. I'm gonna lose otherwise. I didn't pick any speed threat on my team, so that he knows his guy use is gonna be faster and it's safe to go against me. Okay, what? Okay, I. We didn't see that coming. We actually resisted. Resisted the uh, Rixia, yeah? so we're good. C can we steal enough to go before charge it? Okay, we did. Nice. Wait, that was a four B stone skin charge it. So it doesn't even have a, a lethal set. You can only get five. Wait, wait, we can queue. You can only get five with two piece and accessories. Im imagine if people had no girls in four piece lethal and six piece stone skin. That that would be that would be painful. Especially if it's something like Lazarus or Harima that are either very high damage or tanky. Okay, we we got the final battle, so now now I can think, and I don't have to be keen suddenly. Okay, you know what? We we might have gotten some very uh very bad memories and excruciating humiliation losses today, but. I think we did get more wins than losses, even if we lose this battle, so I will call it a win.
But after that speed, so let's uh, let's at least win the last battle. Then, then I can, then I can take a nap and and be happy with it. Actually, I need to, I need to go to the store. I'm I'm out of food. I wonder what I will make today. Yeah, I, I guess we'll go with, it, with the same old Rotos and UDK. I made some uh, wedges and Gasler steak yesterday, and the day before, or like the two days before that, I had um, butter chicken with rice and stir fried wedges. Maybe I'll do something different today. By the way, I don't I don't know if I've ever talked about it on video. I mean, I'm no expert on that stuff, but I actually do like to cook. I maybe it's a bit like uh, I would say that it's practical, but I can understand why somebody would feel it's like kind of also like um, egoistic thing to say. But the takeout food on Finland is insanely expensive and crappy it's horrible i mean even if you're terrible cook your homemade meal is like five times cheaper and 200 trillion times better than whatever crap you can order from takeout and i kind of feel feel jealous when i watch other people like i don't know like um like for instance um authentic who streams raid if you don't know him but he he usually orders takeout on his video and he lives in uk he obviously can get some good good food there but that's that's not the case here not at least in the city i live but the, the takeout food is horrible Anyway, so I'm kind of forced to make food, even though I would want to mix it up a little bit. If if there was like good, cheap takeout food, I would definitely get that often. But it it just is so terrible that I I have to cook myself. And maybe somebody will find that super cringe, but that's kind of how I feel about it. I mean, I like cooking; it's time consuming. Well, depends what you do, but the options here are so awful that there's no other option for me. <laughs> I, I don't want to eat crappy food. It is what it is. Every time I order pizza, I regret my life choices and why did I pay this horrible... Uh, like, they put no effort into it, they're just selling crap and charging way too much for it. Anyway. I'm sure it's very different in like America or in various other countries on big cities, but here in Finland it's terrible. Okay, we didn't... This guy does like... 200 trillion different debuffs, and we do have the Rotos on Polymorph against him, so hopefully that will help us here. But we don't have any Reviver, it's pretty much do or, do or die situation at this point. Rotos isn't gonna be able to take too many hits. If I broke extra turn on next. Next time Rotos does A1, I think I'll just win battle right away. I should be able to one shot the Duchess and kill the other Nuker, and we should be good. If that happens. 
otherwise it's looking bad. Okay, we survived it, barely, but we did. Come on. RNG Jesus, please bless me and give me this extra turn. Come on. It's the last, last battle of the video, just give it to me. Nope, oh, okay. I think that's it. I mean... Wh wait, do, do, what, what skill do I have? Oh, okay, never mind. We can actually mess with the... <laughs> mess with the Taras, never mind, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, maybe I was being a little bit melodramatic there, where we should be fine. Yeah. Mikage or... I think... Yeah, I think... I feel like the Duchess might actually take a turn before this. I kind of don't want to polymorph her because... Ugh. No. Is she gonna get the whale? Okay, never mind. I work, 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 work. Yeah, I, I should have just polymorphed the Mikake. I was overthinking it. Ah, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. He stunned. We're good. Okay. Anyway, I've gotten gotten a little bit emotional today, getting pummeled by all of the Giga chats in Gold Four. Feeling a little bit out of the place, except when <laughs> when fighting against RC drama eight seven eight. That sounds like a bot name, but th this guy made me feel like <laughs> feel like home. He's he's the one guy with his <laughs> with his team sticking out. Like he, he's running his Taldus and Ronda, and I mean, okay, he, it's pretty much the same stuff that I run, except he has Sifi, but. He's running his Taldus, and then everybody here is like, uh, you know, their entire team is the meta champions. They have multiple primals and multiple lockouts, and they have like Grixia, Galatir, Arima, George, Lazarus. Yeah. Okay, to be fair, this, uh, this guy, who I, <laughs> for some reason, I mean, I won against uh, Drama. And I also won against Mr. Flood for some reason, but okay, this guy's team teams aren't that uh, that crazy either. They are also just the champions that I have as well. But yeah, some of the other battles, pain. <laughs> that that that's all I can say about the battles against the Russian guy. It, that that was just maximum. Maximum Bane fighting against Mikake, Kalatir and Harma, but yeah. I think the Polymorph on Rotos was helpful though. I, I think I'll just stick with the Polymorph. There's just too much easy. If I had multiple other Polymorphs, I probably would still run War of the Fallen on my Rotos, but I need the Polymorph. I just... I have to do this. And by the way, let me just show you. That, that one battle, I feel like I would have won that battle. I think it was against the Yao guy, but my Rotos did like some pathetic um, 50k damage on the A3, something like that. I think he did like 53k, and that was a crit, and it wasn't against Harimo passive, and I was like super puzzled. But let me let me show you. My Rotos isn't naked, naked, naked. My Rotos actually does have gear on, and fairly good stats. 8000 attack, 60,000 HP, 355 crit damage. And he did like 54k on H3. I, f I feel like that was a bug. E even without Helm Smasher box, there's no way I should do that little damage. Yeah. M m maybe he was hacking, who knows. I, I feel like he was. Anyway, that's it for this video. Good luck on your live arena and see ya.